Okay. All right, where were we in this? I think we were at the end of the... Wait, did I go through the rain battles? No, I didn't, right? Um, I think I... No, if I remember correctly, I got to, like, the end of the route going towards... Oh, man, I need to get the files pulled up and everything. Oh, this is going to be a rough episode, guys. I apologize in advance. Um, I think it was the rain... The rain teams. I think I accidentally fought one. At the end of the route. He had a Magna Zone. Right? Permanent Rain Magna Zone, yes. He had a Starmie Salamence Whiskash Magna Zone. I think I made out of that battle okay, but I think I stopped right there to prepare for the next battles. I'm pretty sure that's what I did. I did the first rainbow, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Am I taking a break from Iron Man? Uh no, I'm just gonna be I'm gonna be doing it later. I'm just this is a radical red video I gotta do for uh, YouTube. So hi YouTube. <laughs> radical red, more like radically bad. All right, so these snow warnings. So I could switch the, could switch the weather immediately, which is good. And this thing kind of walls Cramorant immediately, so that's good. Cramorant can't really do too much to me. Uh, I could just fake out, or I, could, I just flip turn out. Honestly, if he hurricanes and confuses me, I hit my zone of confusion. I'd be annoyed, but it's not the end of the world. Um, I think I just flip turn out immediately, and then I need a good electric type. Do I have any good electric types? An Electivire. I don't know. Is this my only electric type? I might have to get a Jolteon. A fast electric type with Volt Switch. Oh, I have a Subtractor right here, too. What's Subtractor got? Protosynthesis. What did you... You had Sandstream, right? Another Weather. I want to get Jolteon. I remember... I have two electric types, and they're both not, like, phenomenal. Jolteon could be really good. I think it's about that time, boys and girls. I'm gonna take you out because you do not want to be in this battle. And where is my Thunderstone? We're getting an evolution. We're getting an evolution. If someone still can't beat Rad Red, they should never touch another Pokemon game again. Like just to get through Radical Red, like normal mode. I think if you play Radical Red normal mode, it's a great way to learn how to like build teams and get through difficult battles because i mean even this battle i'm going up against right now if you don't like if you can't if you don't think about switching the weather up or whatever you know it could definitely catch you off guard all right let's check the ability on you please be good please be good please be good striker kicking moves are boosted by 30 percent. let's go check your other ability and also let's make it daytime i don't like the game at nighttime it looks terrible i'm not a fan of this game at nighttime gen 2 nighttime beautiful this game not as much not as much all right welcome back to this episode oh yeah welcome back welcome back uh -huh, uh -huh. i did it i got you i got you um so you bottle cap you for magnet pull uh that's his actual ability in this um i guess striker are there any kicking moves he could even benefit with i mean he has like double kick but his attack stats like Boy, your attack 65. Ain't worth whatever. It's not a negative ability. Let's uh rare candy him up. Mm -hmm. I don't care about his move set. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it however I want it when it gets to there. Mm -mm. And then, let's get back over here. I'll get his moveset and stuff ready. I mean, he's pretty much, like, going to be great for this battle. Modest will be outspeeding everything on their team because they're not going to have Swift Swim. So I'm not going to worry about speed natures on them. Um, so this kills Cramorant. Decidueye walls this and Nidoqueen Queen walls this, but let me see what I could teach you. Um, I think Discharge would be nice over Thunder. Discharge will kill Mantine and Cramorant. Easy peasy. Don't need to worry about anything else. And then for 
TMs. What do you learn? Are there any interesting TMs that could be good? Toxic for the Decidueye could be nice. So there's a very good chance he just sends in. I was thinking Hidden Power. But I feel like Hidden Power is not going to be worth it. Hyper Voice, not terrible. I think I just give you Skull Thunderbolt over Discharge. Uh, oh, he doesn't learn Psychic. Could set up a light screen with him. Light screen could be okay. Um, anything else that'll benefit this battle? Uh, Trailblaze could be nice. Not for this battle because they don't have any setup, so it's not like I'm worried about like them outspeeding me. But it's cool, cool to know he learns that. Okay, so you're just going to be here for... I'm going to flip turn with you. Get you in. Um, if they go Nidoqueen, Queen, I go Stella. This thing is a special wall. And... Let's give you Refresh. Over... Protect. Over Toxic. And then I'll give you... I see wind over. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, you learn ice beam, don't you? You learn ice beam. You do. Maybe ice beam over bulldoze. That'll be perfect because that'll work for Decidueye and Nidal Queen. It'll even, it'll even hit Cramorant and Mantine if they switch in. Um, so that's perfect. Um. Item give, give you, mm, you don't need a magnet. I don't want you taking a hit from anything either. I'm not even going to run an item on you. Just don't take a hit. Still enjoy the series the most, so don't pull a breezy. I'll try my best. I, I'm going to probably be a little off watching chat right now, just so you guys know. I'm going to have to focus up here a little bit. Um, let's see, let's see. U-turn, Spirit Shackle, Leaf Blade, Hurricane. Uh, plate does a good job of walling that Decidueye. Resist bug, resist flying, resist grass. It doesn't resist the Spirit Shackle. Um, but Spirit Shackle is a contact move, is it not? Double check. Spirit Shackle. Hold on. It is... Does not make contact. Okay, so his fluffy ability does not impact it. But still pretty good defensively against it. Is there anything else I could run against that instead? Scissor could be good. Scissor is a little more defensive. Get him in, I can get a U turn off. I think I'll run Scissor over Sand Slash. Um. So that could be good for that. Honestly, Moltres is a great switch in for freaking Decidueye too. If I get this in, I go for a flame charge. Well, I mean, I think this is this is gonna outspeed everything too, right? Let me check Manton. Level, I'm gonna be way higher level than. There's no way Manton's faster. I'm gonna check Manton's speed in this game because they have adjusted some Pokemon stats in this. So I just gotta be careful. He's base 70 speed. I'm base, what, 90? Yeah. You're not outspeeding me, buddy. So we go to you. Uh, and let me double check Cramorant as well. Cramorant, it's base 105. Okay, Cramorant. Could be a little quicker. Um, timid, level 66. It's 180. Uh, I think you outspeed me, even at Timid myself. You do. Okay, that's fine. Um, I could go for a Flame Charge if I wanted to, if his Sash isn't broken. And then I go for like an Ancient Power probably and just get the KO. Uh, I could get U-Turn on him as well. I'm doing a lot for this battle. Probably a little too much, probably not necessary, but... Need to have like good move sets on these guys. Over. Mm. 
heat wave. And let's make you plus speed minus special attack. All right, this should be good. This should be just fine. The Nitto Queen gets beat by Stella. This beats the other guys. This should be just fine. All right. Whew. What did Russo do to you? It's been a combination of people. Russo can't take all the blame. Okay, um, there are some trainers. I think I need to stay all the way to the right, if I remember correctly, to avoid trainers. I think I went down this side and battled anybody. Mm -mm. Okay, so turns to rain. I fought the first guy. So now we're going over here. We go to you. First battle. Bird Keeper Jacob. Oh, liquor. I hardly even know her. Oh, it was, it's definitely, it's been a lot of you guys. Billy, Benny, Russo. You guys have been, you guys have been chaos creators for sure. For sure. How many times did over 100? Um, It was over 100 for pretty much like five hours or something like that. Okay, he lands the hurricane. Doesn't get the confusion. Beautiful. Beautiful. So now I just go Jolteon. And I Thunderbolt. Maybe it was Nidoqueen. Queen. I have a switch. It's fine. Not too worried about it. Thunderbolt. Okay. It was Nidoqueen, Queen. As expected, but. I did not want to risk anything else. That's fine. If I force him into this, it's not a problem. Go into Stella. Kind of wanted to run Icy Wind on this as well, but I think its moveset's good. He has uh, Sheer Force, so I'm not going to worry about Sludge Wave or Thunder, like, getting any statuses, but... um, Just in case. I guess I should I didn't need to run Refresh. I was like, ah, Confusion and all stuff. I'm like, I'm not going to run Refresh for, for those. All right, this is going to hurt anybody that comes in. Cramorant, you're going to get Ice Beamed. That's fine. You can't even do nothing to me, honestly. We could roost, I guess, but yeah, because you eat that up, jeesh. But your sash isn't gonna. All right, this is gonna be a. It's gonna be a slow burn here. Because we're gonna do this a couple times. I just misclicked. Got the confusion. I'm going to you. The ice beam on you. I'm going to you. Flip turn. Ooh, good play. Good play. We go Tony on this. You spirit shackle. I'm going to U-turn because the uh, Spirit Shackle does not kill me. This was even my an this was like another answer I had for this, but it wasn't like my exact answer. Now I go Rudy and I Flame Charge. You Spirit Shackle. I'm surprised you were faster than me. Flame Charge gets the kill on you. Nitto Queen. I don't want a dual wing beat. I have Technician. You have Thunder. What am I doing? What am I doing? That's literally a terrible play. Price beaming. This is gonna be a process. I tell ya. What do you got for moves? Spikes, mirror shot, toxic. What are you? Go for a toxic. Just need a queen. Okay, fair enough. Uh I'm getting the damage on these guys slowly but surely. I think you're gonna flip turn again. Flip turn. You gonna want earth power. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had a feeling this battle was going to end up like this. It's slowly whittling him down, though. I mean, there he goes. He gave up. There we go. Uh, I'm going to soft boil on the flip turn. Ice beam. Ice beam. He should roost here, right? No PP left. Oh. He won't kill me with a hurricane. He roosted. Okay, perfect. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. GG. There we go. There we go. All right. I definitely could have run a better team for that to make that a little easier. So it wasn't so much nonsense like that. But gotta do what you gotta do. All right. This next battle, he got the Mega Lapras Hisuian Gudra. Milotic and Surfing Pikachu. Yikes. This is going to be a fun one. All right. Um, 
I gotta run. I can't run Blastoise lead on this one. So I think I'm gonna run Electivire to get the sand up instead. Yeah, I gotta change the weather. All these teams are like kind of built around the fact that they got the weather behind them. So Electivire has free Volt switches, except exactly Pikachu actually has Lightning Rod. I lied. Uh, light screen, flamethrower. Let's see, let's see. What would be your switching for this? What does Bouncy Bubble do again? Um, let me check. I think it always crits, maybe. Move. Bouncy Bubble. Where is it? Mm -mm -mm. These bubbles that drains half the damage inflicted. Oh, it's a draining move. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Whew. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. So it drains. It's not the craziest thing. Without the water, without the rain there, it's not going to be super crazy. Um, No physical attackers, all special. So you're definitely coming. Um, they all have water moves, so I really don't think Moltres comes at any point in time. Um, Amogus could be pretty good. They do have dragon coverage, I guess. But I have liquid voice on YouTube. That's funny. There's no setup, so I don't got to worry about I could clear smog things if I need to, but there's don't really need to. There's no setup, so like I said. Um, they have ice coverage, though. This doesn't really do great against the Gudra. Can't, like, beat that in, like, a stall fest at all. What are you doing this? Mm. Celebi. They have ice beam. Thunder. Oh, uh, this does good against the Milotic. What do you got for an ability? Super luck. Let's bring this for the Milotic. Instead of... I mean, Jolteon's not terrible to bring, honestly. Jolteon is not bad. Electivire, get rid of the weather. You are a great answer for my Lodic. I need to put Toxic on you. Let me do that before I forget. Toxic on you over... Flash Cannon. No one, no one is good against, bad against Flash Cannon. They're all resisting it. Um, toxic on you over. I might want to refresh on this one because a couple they've got thunder on a couple of them, and I do not want to be paralyzed. So I'll get rid of I'll get rid of ice beam this time. Don't need ice beam. Um, I can't toxic the Gudra. That's okay. Hmm. This battle is a little sketchier. This mega, this mega uh, Lapras can go kind of crazy. Um, so this beats my Lodic. What beats Lapras? Ice, electric, water, dragon. So has drizzle you're not showing up you will not be coming to this battle um aside from the freeze dry this thing does pretty good special defense is really good too so i mean i could definitely like leech seed on the mega lapras let me check mega lapras's damage though lapras mega level four levels below me so you'd be level 64 modest with freeze dry freeze dry what's your dragon move dragon pulse and dragon pulse against a celebi level 68 not doing too much freeze dry is doing 33 to 39 i'll make myself plus special defense um that leech seed plus recovered giga drain will be great so celebi welcome to the team I don't think Klefki comes for this battle. So this does really good against, honestly, Gudra, Lapras, 
Maybe not so much my Lodic, but I have this much love for my Lodic. Uh, the Surfing Pikachu. The Bouncy Bubble could still be a problem. But I do have... I can't Thunder Wave on him. But I could teach him Bulldoze. Where you at? Where you at? Bulldoze could be good. Could be a great move. Just like turn one. Where at? Where at? There we go. Bulldoze over. I'm not going to Thunder Wave anything. Might want Volt Switch on you over Plasma Fist. Or Flamethrower. And Volt Switch on you over Prowl. And I think this will be fine. Do I not have any leftovers? Are they all at the bottom? Okay. Leftovers, leftovers, leftovers. And... I'm going to put Crayon on the team over Alungus. And that should be good. Should be good. You're modest for no reason. But that's okay. Um, I think I just bold. Now, nah, bulldoze on the my load. It could be bad. You know what I do? I turn one toxic. I turn one toxic. Because I don't want plasma fists. If I turn one Toxic, if he stays in, then I don't go worry about the Sash on the Pikachu. If he switches out into my Lodic because he sees I have Bulldoze and is trying to get a competitive boost, then I'll get a Toxic on it immediately, and then we'll be kind of good from there. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, buddy. All right. The Thunderous run win yesterday. No, Thunderous did not make it. Oh, it's a double battle. Oh, I didn't read that part. That's okay. This is a good lead. Oh, this is a good lead. I was not reading that part out. Okay. We're going to light screen and leech seed. Fake me out. Okay. We get the light screen up. You bouncy bubble. Does nothing. Okay. I'm going to toxic and leech seed. Switch that Pikachu for Gudra. Hopefully, of course, gets the call right. Leech Seed on the Milotic. Oh, this has got so much more interesting. Oh, boy. Um, going for Bouncy Bubble. On you. Light Screen's up, so this is not going to do too much. Sandstorm Rages. Um, okay, this got a little more interesting. Um... Okay. I'm going to Volt Switch on the Milotic. And I'm going to Leech Seed both of these guys because they both don't really wall me. And if, as long as I throw Leech Seeds up with Celebi, this thing's going to live forever. Pretty much. Um, that Volt Switch does so much damage. You get your Berry. We go back. I'm going to go into Stonks. There's a zero chance you clicked Thunder on this slot. There's no way. Bouncy Bubble does nothing. Your Dragon Pulse does nothing. Okay. I'm going to Grass Knot you. And Lumina Crash the Gudra. Swaps out the Gudra. Okay, that's fine. I went for Lumina Crash, which drops the... Oh, and you swapped out. Okay. Grass knotted you, which actually did do good damage. Um, I'm going to protect Leech Seed the Lapras. If I get fake outed with a Pikachu, that's going to be a little annoying, but. Nobody tries to fake out the Empoleon. Of course, they get the call right and you get the freeze dry. Okay. Light screen wore off. So I'm going to hard switch into Zuku. And Leech Seed. Lapras. I should just Giga Drain the Lapras, honestly, at this point, because I got the Lumina Crash off. That was kind of a misplay. But it's okay. It's okay. You get you Thunders that slot. Okay. I should have checked if I had, like, Bolt Absorb on something. 
That would have been nice. Okay, I'm going to light screen. And I'm going to Giga Drain this slot. Pikachu switches out for Gudra. Perfect. This Giga Drain should do a ton. After the, the drop. Perfect. Lapras is gone. And we get a free light screen up. Okay. Okay, I am going to... Jace up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to Leech Seed that slot. We missed it. We got a Toxic off. We got a Freeze. Wow. That's unfortunate. Um, we go into Stonks. Leech Seed that slot. Okay. I'm going to Protect. And... He's probably going to switch out here. Uh, I'm just going to Giga Drain that slot. In the oh, you switched out. Perfect. Okay. We're good. We're good. Got to switch you out for Stella. We Giga Drain that slot. That's fine. I'm going to... Toxic you. Uh, Lumina Crash you. Um, protect. Giga Drain. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Woo! Okay. Made it through another battle. And now we got another one. This is a fun one. He leaves with a Dragapult. This is not a doubles battle. This is an Ironmon. It is not Ironmon. We are doing a recording for Radical Red for YouTube. Never seen you beat a gym? <laughs> All right, so lead Dragapult, Focus Sash, Cursed Body, <sighs> Timid Dragapult. Oh my Lanta! What is my answer for this? Um, probably this, but he does have U-turn, but he's timid, so it's not the end of the world. Could lead Sand Slash and set up rocks. Do I have Stealth Rocks on anybody? I know I could set up spikes with him, not actual Stealth Rocks. Um, and they're trying to, they got the rain up for this one too. So I got to keep that in mind. So I would like to change the weather. So I think I actually, I think I actually do get the sand up. Sand's not going to be great for the Amistar, but. Uh, hmm. A little tough, a little tough here. Do you get U-turn? No. Okay. And it wasn't sure if you did. I wasn't 100% confident. Um, I mean, I could go... I could lead Blissey and just go for a Toxic immediately. Because I'm going to take anything from a Dragapult. And I'll get a Toxic off on something. They're all Pokemon that are scary Pokemon that I don't want staying in for too long. Uh, This Stonks, Walls, Amistar, and I have Grass Knot. So I don't ever worry about that. Pinsir. Um, I bring one of my fluffy boys over probably Jilteon. I don't think I need Jilteon this fight. This destroys Pinsir. This destroys Amistar. This destroys Dragapult once I Toxic it, I guess. I'll give you a better moveset. Uh, kill a Watchroll. So, Kilowattrol is going to have Weather Ball, which you got to keep in mind. It's going to be it's normally Weather Ball Rain, but it's going to be Weather Ball Ice. So, I got to keep that in mind. Um, I mean, Blissey kind of walls that forever, too. I just got to give Blissey, like, Ice Beam again. I don't think I even bother Icy Winding. I think I just get Ice Beam. Actually, Icy Wind could be nice if I have to switch out on something else, but no, I think I just Ice Beam over protect and then i think i think that's it let's see how it goes let's see how it goes uh, 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 uh. 
<laughs> Jay said, don't worry. I put the I put the notifications on if you guys donate on here. So I see everything. All right, turn one toxic. I do not care what you click. I'm assuming you turn out into kill a watchroll. That's probably the play. Um, maybe not. You probably go Amistar trying to set up. Yep. Sets up with the Amistar. That's fine. Get the recovery. Honestly, he's probably going to shell smash here. But, like I said, stonks. With the rain up? Am I scared of a plus two? I'm not scared of a plus two in the rain. I don't care. Let me go for grass knot. You hydro pump plus two hydro pump in the rain to a Empoleon. Not happening. It's not happening. You're not doing nothing. <clears> or <throat> a little bit more than I kind of expected, not gonna lie. But it's okay. Out comes Dragapult, who is probably just gonna U-turn again. But this is where I get rid of the rain. This is where I get rid of the rain. He could just click Thunder right here. Which is very possible. I just needed that rain gone. U turns. Perfect. Okay. Um, I'm assuming Pinsir comes out. Kilowatt roll is not going to be too much of a threat. Mm. I guess he Weather Balls because I don't really have much to hit him with. Uh, could just be a Volt Switch, honestly. Do I have Protect on you? Do not. I have light screen. Um, what do I do? What was my answer for this? Kind of just you, right? I guess it's kind of both of them. I'm going to go for Toxic. He Volt Switches. Okay, I kind of feel any... When they have U-Turn and Volt Switch available, if they have two Mons left with that, they really... The AI really likes to keep up momentum. They really like to. We got the Toxic on the Dragapult. Um, you could definitely go for a Shadow Ball, or you could, you could probably see a kill here and go for it. Most likely just going to U-turn. If you do, that's fine. U-turns. Okay, you come out. Now, we go ZZ. I didn't check your moveset at all, but I just knew you walled this forever. I have Ice Fang that hits all of them super effectively. So we just Ice Fang. Got the Frostbite, Double Edge, that's fine. That still did so much damage, that's crazy. Um, Going to Stella, we dodged. I'm going for a Soft Boiled, you Volt Switch out. I'm going to Toxic, because you are going to U-Turn. I'm going to Soft Boiled, and now I just spam Ice Beam twice. Or however many times I need to click it. A little nervous about this, so I'm going to go into Crayon, U-Turns be ice punch okay gg so lyris with the sub let's go baby that's i think that's just a resub going through automatically but write that down all right that is the last battle nice nice we made it through we made it through now we're in the city we've made it to fuchsia and now that we're in fuchsia Oh, what do you want, buddy? You giving me an egg? I'll take it. I will take it. Thank you, bud. Attach it real quick. See what we get. Let's see what we get. <sighs> Sorry, we have we already have a shuckle, don't we? We do. Oh, that stinks. Yep. Unfortunate, but is what it is. All right, let's... What else is going on? What do we do now? We have a rival battle here. Um, Fuchsia City, Brendan. It is Metagross with Explosion, Meteor Mash, Earthquake, Stealth Rocks. I have an amazing lead for this. And I call him Sand Slash because I have multi scale. And if he goes for Stealth Rocks turn one, I go for Rapid Spin. And if I Rapid Spin, 
against a Metagross. Um, oh, cool. It has this whole set in here. Nice. Sand Slash, level 68. I'm still level 68, right? Yeah. Um, if I get to plus one speed, I will outspeed him. He's only 70 speed, Metagross. Sand Slash is 65. So I can run Adamant if I wanted to. I'd Rapid Spin turn one. Nothing he does. Uh, with my multi-scale ability. He's doing nothing to me. Explosion does 45%. But he'll be faster than me originally. So if he goes to Stealth Rocks, I'll Rapid Spin. Get rid of the Rocks. And then Earthquake does 72 to 86. Damn, you are strong. Holy crap, man. Holy. Rapid Spin into Earthquake doesn't even kill you. That's nuts. I have 110 attack. That's crazy. What if I give him Soft Sand? Soft Sand is an 86 to 101 damage roll. If I take off the 6%, put him to 94%. Earthquake's a 50% chance to kill. Hmm. I don't like that. Man, that's tough. I figured this was going to be a perfect lead, too. I mean, it would prevent the rocks from going up, which is fine. Um, I mean, say I rapid spin, I get rid of the rocks, any explosions. Worst. I mean, I could set up a spike. I could rapid spin and then set up a spike. Because he has... Uh, he doesn't have anything with sashes, so it's not really the end of the world. But it's good to just get the chip damage. Um, if I rapid spin and then set up a spike, he explodes. I still have like 40% HP. And then he sends in, he has a choice band and a choice scarf with Metacham and Crowd on. So having spiky shield on this is amazing. So I definitely want to keep this guy. Um, for the Gardevoir. I kind of want to run Stella. Special defense is stupid. Even Focus Blast isn't going to do anything if he can land them. Um, Bullet Seed, Dual Chop, Earthquake. Swords Dance with Mega Sceptile. Um, I think I run ZZ for that. Your defense is crazy. Ice Fang is super effective. If you set up a Swords Dance, it's a little scary though. Uh, Sceptile is scary in that sense. Sceptile. Against a Gliscor. Level 68. With the ability. Fluffy. Bullet Seed at neutral. With three hits. Even with Fluffy. Oh, his Bullet Seed's not contact, is it? Oh, boy. Mm. Um, that is bad because if he sword stances and then gets four hits, I die. Because plus two, three hits, it won't kill me, but a fourth hit will kill me. Oof. Oh, it's a little scary. Okay, what do I do for the subtile then? If I know he's going to bullet seed, I could go Thievil because Thievil has stamina. And every hit that I get hit with increases my defense. This resists the grass like crazy. Dual chop resisted. Earthquake's the only thing you could hit me with, and it's not boosted. Let me check Scizor. Scizor, level 68, plus defense. Plus two earthquake. It doesn't even do that much to me. How much is a U-turn doing? My ability, I'm just going to put a random ability. Uh, because I don't want it to put in Technician. U-Turn does 90 to 108. So if I run Adamant, almost it'll guaranteed kill pretty much. If I run Adamant. And a plus 2 Earthquake, the strongest thing you can hit me with, does 60 to 70%. So that's my answer. Scizor. Scizor, you're on the team. Let's give it a Glide score for now. Um... I think I'd definitely bring Klefki, though. Because Klefki is better coverage-wise against the Metacham and Crowdon. And it also has Fluffy. 
Empoleon. Oh, I think I run Empoleon. Empoleon could be okay, I guess, against the X-Cloud. He got Silk Scarf Boom Burst. Surf, Flamethrower, and Shadow Ball would be neutral, but nothing stab. Um, Celebi. I don't need Electivire. I don't need to change the weather. My answer for... I think this works. I think this works. Let me get Sand Slash. Put you at the front. You're all level 68. You all got leftovers except for Scizor. Which it does now. I lead. I set up. I rapid spin turn one. No matter what. Rapid spin. Pop the air balloon. If he set up stealth rocks, I'll get him away. Um, I need to make you minus speed and age. Not minus speed, but I need to make you uh, adamant. Okay. Uh, that way he outspeeds me turn one. No matter what happens, I rapid spin. Um, He'll never get rocks up. There's no way he'll get rocks up. Rapid spin to um, setting up a spike. Because if he explodes on that second turn, I want to at least get a spike up for it. Then, if he goes x -Bloud, I go Stonks. If he goes Gardevoir, I go Stella. If he goes Mega Sceptile, I go Scizor, who I need to make. He is adamant. He has U-Turn. If I have the spike up, U-Turn kills every single time, no matter what he does. Um, Yeah. Yeah, we got this. Let me double check movesets, though. Yours is perfect. Uh, Draining Kiss is good for Metacham and Crawdon. That's what you're here for. Uh, you need U-Turn. Leech Seed, Giga Drain. You're here for Crowdon pretty much. I could throw Leech Seed off if I need to. You are here for Gardevoir. Uh, Toxic, Ice Beam, Soft Boiled. It's fine. This is honestly a fine moveset. You are here for x -Bloud. Toxic, Flip Turn. Grass Knot. I should give you a better moveset. I should give you something else. Let's give you... Um... I'm not going to Hydro Pump. Let me get you Scald. Give you a classic Scald. Somewhere over here. Did I miss it? Like Scalds in this area. I mean, it's, maybe it's like 80 something. There it is. Scald over. Pro now, Protect could be good. I don't need Grass Knot in this battle. Okay, let's do this battle. Klefki's low key the MVP this round. Dude, Klefki. With the fluffy has been so good. So good. I think this is a legit solid team for this. Let's see how it goes. I guess we'll find out, right? We'll do this battle. This will be the last one of the video. Mm, 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 mm. Good morning, Redbird. How you doing? If I managed to subscribe, uh, the rest of all my gifties. All right, Solaris. Appreciate it. Sorry, I just saw that. I added it to your bank. Okay, you float with the air balloon. That's fine. We rapid spin. You meteor mash immediately. That's ideal situation. I'm going to be honest. That is ideal. Uh, I do want to double check the Metagross though. Metagross against the Sand Slash. Level 68. Uh, the explosion can kill me from here. I'm at 178. Uh, my nature, I did adamant, did I not? Or did I go defensive? Okay, I am 189 defense. Uh, explosion has an 18% chance to kill. So I don't get the spike set up. If I, if I don't want to risk him dying, it's an 18% chance. I... If I spike his shield and he explodes, then this thing's at full health, which is fine. If... I'm setting up Spike. I'm faster. I set up the Spike. If he explodes, he goes for Earthquake. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is amazing. This is perfectly fine. We got a Spike set up. I'm going to Spike his shield now because he should see the, the kill with Explosion. So I'm going to Spike his shield. Wow. Wow, that's a wild play. That is a wild play. 
That's crazy. Not gonna lie, that's crazy. Um Wow, why would the AI do that? Usually if they see the kill, they go for it. Do I sacrifice Sand Slash here to get rid of Stealth Rocks? Are Stealth Rocks that big of a deal for my team? They're not that bad, but I don't really have a great switch in for just an Earth. If he goes for Explosion... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Tony could be good. I just don't want to take the stealth rock damage into explosion. Let me see how much it'll do. That's not how I expected him to play right there. I'll be completely honest with you. Explosion is 50%. That makes him no longer a check. All right, I'm going to... I'm going to start up another spike. There's no point in clicking an Earthquake. I'm not going to kill. He should explode here. Yep. I lost Sand Slash. Damn, that was a weird play. I don't know if that's the AI just, you know, knowing what I'm going to do by what I click and not clicking it because it literally made no sense. The Stealth Rocks weren't that important. They were not that important. Um, what's the best thing to go into here? It's Klefki. Klefki is the best thing I can go into. Let's see. What do you do? Explode. Kind of expected that. For Explode. I have Stonks who walls him pretty much forever. Should go for a flamethrower here. Yep. I'm going to go for a Toxic. Goes for Boom Burst. That's insane. The Punk Rock ability. Holy crap. Did so much damage. Uh, I'm going to flip turn. I didn't even see how much damage that did. I'm just going to assume it won't kill me from here. does not okay had to sacrifice my boy i had to it was the best play okay and now we go stella's kind of here just for taking special attacks so i mean i guess this is what you're here for right bud screen cleaner doesn't matter you're gonna be faster than me you're gonna are you gonna die the next turn of poison no uh, so I'm just going to soft boiled. You, you switch out. Going to Gardevoir. I'm going to Toxic. Focus Blast. I don't even know how much this does. I didn't even think about calcing it. I'm a Blissey. Blissey eats hits for breakfast. And now you're Toxic. Now. You lose this battle 1v1. And so does Explode. Explode is walled for the rest of time. For the rest of time. We're still alive, Jiro. I lost my Sand Slash. I kind of had to throw him away, but it's okay. Focus Blast. Soft Boiled. The Ice Beam. We Soft Boiled. You Hard Switch into Crawdon. Okay. Crawdon here. Should be clicking Super Power. To get the KO. No guarantee that's what he's going to click, but I'm going to go into Klefki. Because Klefki can take hits no matter what he goes for. If he goes for Liquidation, that's the worst case scenario. Super Power is actually probably... He goes for Crunch. That's beautiful that is nothing not a zilch and now i get a free draining kiss off because what do you go into what do you go into on this probably explod i just draining kiss septile maybe meta jam perfectly fine with me this thing doesn't even break through me this is here for the meta jam also Mm -mm -mm. It's not like really amazing. Anyways, he had multi scale, which was the only thing that was really good about it. Um, I didn't calc this. I'm assuming you live. It's neutral. You have fluffy. Perfect. But um, the multi scale was good. If I made him a plus defense nature, I could have won that exchange. But I made him adamant, and I should have changed it last second. But I kind of thought I. I think this beats the rest of his team, uh, except for Explode with Flamethrower. So he goes Sceptile. We have Earthquake. I'm not. I'm not messing around. We have the answer. We go Tony. In case you Sword Stance. We go straight for Earthquake. We're fine. 
Do sword stance, we're fine. Sword stance is perfect. Mm -mm. We go for the U-turn. Your earthquake at plus two, that's fine. Adamant U-turn does so much damage. Should guaranteed kill. Yep. And now we go into Stella. You go into Crawdon. You do no damage to plates. Oh, you liquidated and got the defense drop. Oof. That's not good. Let's go into Ozo. And let's go for a Giga Drain. You're gone. Next blob comes out. I think I'm faster than you. I'm just going to Giga Drain. Yep. Garbro comes out. You can't do anything to me. I Giga Drain. Cool. Look at that. We lost Sand Slash, which does suck. We got Rock Smash now, so we can get a bunch of encounters. Um, we can get like the Terrakion. PP Maxis. Ooh, PP Maxing. PP Maxing. Uh, we can get Terrakion. And like the other ones of those. I forget exactly where they all are. There's another lot of good items we can get. And we'll get the Safari Zone encounter. Got a lot to do. So I'll try to get a lot done in the next episode. It'll probably be a lot of item grabs and other stuff like that. But uh, yeah, only one death this episode. It's not too, too bad. Appreciate you guys watching it live. And I will see you guys in the next one.